Okay, so last time I talked to you about base coats. Now we're going to go into gilding. I'm using uh, this Dew Paint uh, or Ducks uh, water-based size. Um, we buy our leafing through Sep Leaf in New York because uh, we go through lots of it. But there are other consumer products. This is sizing, and the sizing um, I use a water-based sizing. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, it is the glue, it's sort of the sticky of gilding. You can also buy like little consumer uh, gilding kits. I am going to tint, um, that's actually too much, that's a lot. That's That much sizing is enough to do a horse. Uh, well, not a horse, maybe, maybe a small goat. Uh, I'm going to add some pyrrole red acrylic paint so that it's the sizing is tinted so I can see where I'm going when I'm applying the sizing to these pieces. I'm going to be doing it on yellow pieces and the uh, pieces that are going to go on copper. So as you can see <clears throat> the red color in the sizing um, not only lets me know where I've been, but it also allows me to check for evenness of finish and make sure there's no puddling. You don't want you don't want any you don't want to remove any puddling. It's a wonderful red variegated gold. Leaf. I'm gonna try this on a few. So here are the finalized gold and red gold pieces. After the leaf is laid on uh, very gently, then eventually go back with a very, very soft um, cosmetics brush to get the leaf to sit into the crevices and polish it up a bit. Um, this is not master gilding. This is very fast, very cheap approach to it, so please don't send me letters about how I should be taking about 40 minutes for each one of these pieces. I don't have time. This isn't real gold either. This is Dutch gold. Um, and like I said, I buy it by the truckload, so I don't really treat it as anything too precious, but it sure makes everything look incredibly precious. Isn't that sweet? Beautiful. And you can see a little bit of the color Coming through from the under thing, but that, that's the red gold, isn't that beautiful? This is the copper tray. These are the pieces I'm gonna copper, and I'll tell you, I'm gonna just really go wholesale on this. So I didn't film much leafing with silver, partially because I thought I had a bunch of fake silver, aluminum leaf, 
and it turns out I didn't and I ran out and I had to switch over to a stash of sterling silver um, that I had left over from an other a commission um, and um, it's m much 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 finer uh, much smaller sheets um, finer consistency and it's lovely to work with but um, it's um, tedious I'm doing touch-ups now but I got I got quite a bit of the, um, little patches done as you can see it's just the wisp it's a wisp Now that I'm done gilding, I'm going to move on to inks and acrylics on top of the gilding. Well, that's this bit. I'll see you next time.